which is like a hundred miles of nothingness. We've got a new butter knife. God, that's the fastest I've ever gone on a bike off road. Morning, day seven. Oh, it's so cold. But there are miles that gotta be ridden. So here we go. It is a beautiful morning, start to day seven. It was a little chilly this morning, but now 61 degrees, sunny, cannot complain. Today we begin the tackle on the Great Basin, which is like a hundred miles of nothingness. Just a big empty flat bowl through Wyoming. We may tackle the whole thing in one day, depending how we feel, depending how the wind is, or break it up and sleep in the middle of nowhere. Part of the adventure, not knowing. Goes. Get of that Bye. Yes, I am drowning in biking. Don't do this at home, kids. It's dangerous. Or on the divide. Or on the divide. <laughs> Alright, 14 miles in and we made it to Atlantic City. This is one of the resupply stops. And I think the main one actually before we hit the Great Basin. So once we eat some breakfast here, we're gonna climb up that road, up, and then once we go down, that's the beginning of the basin. So here we're gonna grab some breakfast, we're gonna fill up on water, and then hit the basin. Also, the way into town here, I don't know if you can see, there's a massive hill. There was another one after that, or before that. Holy cow, that's the fastest I've ever gone on a bike off road. That was a blast. It's one of those things where you're at the top of the hill and you decide either break or not. And I could see it wasn't serious turns and I could see the whole hill. So that's why I decided not to break, but it, I'll check later what I hit and I'll insert it here. Oh man, that was fun. All right, time to eat. Got a new butter knife. Laurel, thank you so much. I appreciate the knife. This is gonna be a game changer on the ride. Appreciate it. And the food was delicious. <laughs> oh yeah. Now to fill up on some water because we're gonna hit the basin. I'm gonna fill up these extras and see where I put them on the bike. But this is another three liters of water which we're probably gonna need. Unless we crank through the whole thing today, which is going to be another 97 miles on top of the 14 that we've already done. But with these guys, it might be possible. If you are ever in Atlantic City, Wyoming, make sure to stop by that Miner's Grub Steak. It was amazing. The owner, Laurel, and her two sons and everything. It was such a cool little family experience. So much fun. If you stop in, tell her that that one of the three bikers who asked her for a knife says hi. <laughs> It'll probably put a smile on her face and you'll have some delicious food and some great laughs too. All right, into the basin we go. I'm terrified. <laughs> Here we go, 22 miles in to the Great Basin. 
and we found the well. It was not well marked at all, but we were able to find it. Diagnus Well Wetland. So now the goal is drink as much water as we can, fill as much of our bottles as we can, because we don't have any water for the next 80 miles till we hit Wham Center. Oh, it's over here. Yeah. And there we go. The word well should make it a little easier for people to see this is the well because it was just a pile of rocks before. But this is a major path on the Continental Divide hiking trail as well as what we're doing, the Great Divide mountain bike route. So you need water here through this part of the Great Basin. And I just made it a little easier to identify that the well is there. Maybe it was naive of me to think so, but I thought the Great Basin was a nice flat place where we could just power through really fast. It's nice smooth roads, no water, but I thought smooth roads and a tailwind is what we've been hearing. It's a super washboardy, rocky, hilly place that I, I feel like I can't get any speed in most spots. And there's a truck flying by. Oh, there we go. Hello! My moto is better than trucks, but. Hello! they waved anyways I'm just a little disappointed there's nothing to look at the road is terrible it's hot there's not a lot of water not my favorite place on this trip so far 50 miles down for the day we are 30 40 35 ish miles through the Great Basin I mean we're at four and a half hours so far riding so Depending how the roads are the rest of the way, we may crank out the first century and knock out another item on the Kev Does 101 list, which is ride a century. I never thought it would be in Wyoming with a fully laden backpack bike, bike packing bike on some crappy roads, but hey, it could be today, or we may just go another 20 miles and call it quits. We'll just see how we feel. It's in the road's hands now. Yeah, baby! Woo! Woo!